We now have subtropical storm Karen. It's formed in the North Atlantic, moving off towards the north and east. And really, this is a problem for the British Isles, maybe even over towards Portugal. This thing it really is struggling to be called a tropical system, but it does have kind of those warm core characteristics. You can see the banding around it. This is what one would call a fish storm. Unless you were out here lost in some shipping traffic, you're not going to be worried about it at all. And you can even see what the forecast doesn't really keep it very around long here according to the NHC but it has been labeled also we're still watching Jerry though moving in towards the leeward islands in fact we do have some tropical storm warnings in place across a few of these islands even though the center of circulation is just offshore you got the bulk of the convection kind of hitting Antigua and Barbuda here uh, with those tropical storm warnings in place I think one of the biggest issues is going to be that heavy rainfall maritime is definitely going to be impacted smaller craft it definitely going to be impacted but this is only going to stick around through today and then head off towards north maintaining that tropical storm intensity uh, really not expected to become that cat one much of any more as it pushes off it's just going to be sheared apart and kind of struggle throughout the duration of that forecast here and they say look at the extended long the extended guidance with this keeps it just towards the east of Bermuda, so they're not really even being impacted by it much as well. But we have those warnings and watches in the Caribbean for the time being. No direct impacts on the east coast of Florida. I think the bigger impacts are going to be from this. We're already seeing windy conditions up and down the eastern seaboard, passing areas of heavy rainfall due to a bit of a nor'easter that's developing and bringing some rough weather there. So check out firstcoastnews.com if you want more information on that and the local impacts for the Jacksville and basically the Florida coast here as we go ahead through the upcoming weekend. I'm meteorologist Robert Spett, always trying to keep you posted on what's happening out here in the tropics.